could fix anything. I mean, you give me a song, I'll fix it for you. And that's exactly what he didn't do. He didn't, he didn't fix anything. Mm. He kind of fiddled and twiddled and got noodly and nerdy and left a couple of times on tantrums. Like I say, you can't print all this because sure. it's too derogatory. Mm. But he actually left in tantrums saying, I'm not coming back, you guys are nuts. You know, I'm not doing this, I'm not having this. So he had all these tantrums and, you know, silly things. And we should have known better because Paris, we saw quite a bit of this. It's funny what Paris mm. created. Wasn't that dis dissimilar to what happened on Heaven and Earth? Yeah, and it's who's, the wrong fit. He's mm. the wrong guy. Why did he yeah. come into this project in the first place well, Paul, based on that experience. we were trying to find somebody that the label would agree to in other words here's okay. the money but before we give you the money to make this record we have to approve the producer this is still Stephen Wilson we said well look yeah, we okay. know why you know we think that's good but we felt he might think once again off the record that we were just totally disorganised you know, we weren't ready to... Because I didn't even know if we were ready to make the record. I was the guy going, have we really got enough stuff for this? You know, we're mm. sort of like sti stitching it together, but is there enough, you know, the quality? But anyway, so I think... I think what I really think is that Stephen Wilson would have been a great reality check for us. You know, you mm. see, Roy Thomas Blake was the opposite. He was just playing along with it, anything you want to do. Yeah. And as I think I told you... Uh, if Chris and I did any leadership things or pushed a musical idea, he would just play along with it. He would never contradict us. He'd never put those two ideas together and say, well, if he took Chris's idea with this and put Steve's idea with this, you know, that, that, would, that would have been what Bruce Fairburn would have yeah. done. Well, look, you guys, stop arguing. We, we can do this. And we can do it your way. So he didn't have that ability, and he had this pile of boxes that he kept sticking every instrument that we recorded through. And, you know, it had to be right through it in it pile of shit. Mm. And I said, like, edit, edit lots out of there. So, uh, but you, maybe I'll try and say something you could use, which is, uh, <laughs> or more thoroughly you could use, that, that when he walked in the room and started working, we started to sense this, this wasn't quite working properly. You know, it wasn't quite working. And then John got a grilling from him about how to sing and, and, and he threw off some comments. So John was accused of singing like a European or why didn't you sing like this? Anyway, not yet can you use it. What he did, he put, he put John through the mill uh, singing, building him up, which producers can do sometimes. You know, give me a bit more. Uh, give me another one, but give me, you know. It's like, yeah, John, John, you know, you know got a little bit. So, but by the time we'd uh, finished it and noticed that schedules, see, the 70s was riddled with schedule problems. We had to finish an album because the tour was already booked before we'd finished the album. Mm. Similarly, we had a Canadian tour booked and it was coming up. And there were two plans and Chris said, let's finish the record, get it finished, double studio, get anybody. And I said, no, let's just leave it, go to Canada, do a video and come back to it in September. Yeah. Um, whether it could have been so much better because of that, I can't say because it never happened. okay on Fragile and the Yes album. Yeah, <laughs> and it works great on my own projects. I always leave them. I never are backed up against the time. I always think, you know, if I went back to this again, I might see even more things that aren't quite right. So we didn't do that. We thrashed ourselves, and I gave up even returning home for a week's holiday. I didn't even go home. I went from this recording to Canada and toured. Mm. And uh, and on on tour when we went to Europe, we were listening to mixes that Billy was doing. Now Billy tried hard, but we needed to uh, uh, from where that record, what that record had been through, we needed to be there mm -hmm. to make it work. This idea of Skype, you know, files and all that stuff, it, it was destined not to work, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. So the whole album is 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 under par as far as finality perfectionism, you know, the nice... I mean, it's, it's quite, you know, it's quite good, but it, it has its weak, weaker side. And um, and part of what comes through to me, because I know, you know, I was there. <laughs> I was there. I remember it. And uh, therefore, you know, um, it w was one of those albums. But it, it's amazing that even though that was so junked, if you like, or it was less than brilliantly successful, um, we, you know, we got going on the album sleeve. I mean, you know, why worry about heaven and earth? You know, it's nice sleeve. Mm -hmm. There were some good songs in there. We just, just didn't get it all 
mm. you know, lined up, the ducks weren't all that. I mean, you know, Subway Wars is most probably the song there. It's most probably one of the most adventurous things we've done. Mm. It gets kind of lost in the soup of, you know, mediocrity occasionally. Mm. So, uh, but we carried on with the album series, and that has been a blessing to yes, because I love saying it. We are an album band. We're not a singles band. Get me out of here. Roundabout was hacked by Atlantic. Did us a, did us proud to get fragile off the ground. And Wonder Stories was was a beautiful song, and Europe loved it, and that that helped us then. And Owner of Only Heart, you know, was a pop song that yes, kind of yesed up a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. So we did that, but really the core mentality of the band was always that that, that we were anti-commercial that we, we wouldn't commercialise our music just, just to get some extra sales yeah. you know we, we had a, a, a integrity mm. that uh, every now and again we lost you know we, we lost that in the way there was other goals I heard one or two original members say all I want is another hit record and I think that's not how you get a hit record no. you know you should know better wanting it it is a distraction if you get it because what you do is so good and, and I used to say this sometimes it's only about us being really good that makes us good yeah. it's not that we've got like this pop song that you know, it's as good as ABBA or as good as Phil Collins or as good as you know Paul Simon or you know we're, we're not good at that stuff we just make these weird stuff we're weird and I think that's that's yes in a, in a, if we weren't if we hadn't ever been weird, we wouldn't be here now. Exactly, that's yeah. the stuff over 50 years. You just have to be, just do what you do, mm. and people will find you if you do it right. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, mean, I mean, Owner was a hit in 83. Yeah. Would not have been a hit in 73 or 93. It was yeah. just the right song at the right time. Yeah, yeah. So to chase that 10 years later mm. was just like chasing a mirage. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It sounds like, I mean, mm. yes, is, I, I can't speak for Roy Thomas Baker, no. but everything I've ever read about a band mm. is that or most often, it's, yeah. it's a group of, it's like a gang, mm. who come out of the same neighborhood, with the same background, with the same interest, they were mm. pals in school, mm. and they formed a band, and they went on, and they, they were tight together. Yes has always been, you know, a million influences and conflict, and, yeah. you know, yeah. and struggle over music, and pulling, and pushing, mm. that's what makes it weird, and that's what makes what it, what it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, you're, you're right, yeah, that's what we were saying a minute ago, was that the, the weirdness or the allowing weird stuff to happen was, was, was why, you know, we were together, it, was, yeah. it wasn't to, to do the ordinary, it was to do the unordinary. Hey, are you interrupted? All right, all right. So, uh, okay, yeah? bar back Thank and you. some pick, all right. Great, all right. man. So, uh, well, I, I'll see you in all the confusion. We'll see you in England. Okay, then. And uh, we'll, I'm bringing the, the main app. Yeah. Of course, the vault will come to you as soon as possible. Yeah. We'll do some emails. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, mm. yeah, I, I guess uh, uh, Steve is the guy to speak to, right, to make sure you bring the program. get certain st the programs, but also there's an app stand. I understand that's in storage. And Are you not bringing amp stands from here? That's right? going to be a tough one. Because it's loose. Yeah. It's okay, I've got amp stand. Yeah, I've been told you have a couple. We'll yeah. make sure it's the same one. Yeah. And uh, well, I'll touch base with Steve on any other little yes. bits and bobs. Well, we're doing programming. Good. You know, on a particular day. Okay. Uh, in, in March, I think it's the end. But that's what we've got to watch. Is that we've got to watch that. I'm doing programming 26, 27 okay. or guitars. And, so the, the gear can't be picked up until the 28th. Oh, great, I'll tell Don that. Okay. okay, that's a good date for 28th him. 28th of February, last yeah. day of February. Yeah, that's the earliest. I mean, he might not want it that early because we're not. Is that right? 28th of February. Yeah, because before you know it, with the backup from the 20, from the first, fourth, thirteenth. We're rehearsing. That's right. For sort of like a, almost a week before that. Yes, in in England. So it's a short ride when they pick it up. Yeah. It just yeah. has to go to Wales. Or Devon to Wales is great. Place. Okay, so I'll oh, tell yeah. them no no sooner than the twenty eighth. Yeah. Well, any time after the twenty eighth. After. So yeah. No sooner than. Yeah. The, he, he may not want it that soon. Okay. Okay, bud. Okay, great man. See Always great. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. See you, later, see you in, on the other side. But I might see, see you, you down the Sunday. corridor. Yeah, okay. I might Any see moment. you again. Yeah, I'll be <laughs> running the Adrian Ballou show at five. So. Oh, are you? Okay, yeah, helping from, Adrian. Oh, yeah. yeah Give him my best. I saw him last night. I, I will. Talk, talk to him. Oh, great. That's okay. great, man. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Um, That's nice how you're feeling about the, the standard of the live show. Yes, are such a live band. Yeah. Where this, where this band seems also That's fine. so improbably <clears> to have... Mm. Two founding members in the vocal yeah. and, and bass slot not to be there, and yeah. honest to, 
Aunt Hen, no. honest to God, never sounded better live. Isn't than... it weird? Uh, so if we carried on from you know leaving Heaven and Earth era, and then of course we lose Chris. I mean that that was the, the drama that happened after that. I'll be doing some album series. We're doing the three. The first album tour was amazing. Going for the one, 